So, I'm a member of this website called TV.com, where you can look up the episodes of any TV show you want, and all the episodes have a rating based on how well received they are by users, 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. As you all know, I'm a huge Spongebob fan. Also, as you all know, most of the episodes of that show that aired after 2004 are considered by a lot of fans to be bad. But, which episodes are considered the worst? Well, I did some research and came up with a list of the 10 worst Spongebob episodes chosen by TV.com users. So in this video, I'm going to name off the episodes on this list and give my thoughts on the episodes. Some of them I agree with, others, eh, not so much. So without further ado, this is the top 10 Spongebob episodes that are considered the worst. Number 10, Karate Island. I guess there's no surprise here. This episode seems to get a lot of hatred for the fact that it was voted number one on the best day ever top 100 countdown. Now obviously it's not fair to hate an episode of a TV show because of something stupid the network did. That being said, this is my least favorite episode for a while, at least until The Splinter aired in 2008. The question is, why did I hate it? Well, for starters, the fight scenes weren't interesting, there weren't any really funny jokes, and the characters were just bizarre here, like that lip lady. The plot resolution was kind of dumb, too. I mean, real estate? Younger viewers aren't going to understand that. So yeah, this is one I agree with most people on. Number 9. The Scent of Money I guess I'm not really surprised about this one, either. I understand a lot of people hate this one because it's quote-unquote typical post-movie Mr. Krabs. In my opinion, it wasn't all that great, but it had its moments. There were some funny jokes here, like the free parking joke near the beginning, and Spongebob standing up to Mr. Krabs in the end to defend Gary was an added bonus. So in the end, this one was actually alright to me. Number 8. Atlantis Squarepantis Once again, I'm not surprised. At all. The so-called TV movie was advertised on Nickelodeon for weeks, and when the big night for it to air finally came, I was so, so, so disappointed. There was pretty much nothing to the story. The whole episode consisted either of songs or the crew taking a tour of Atlantis, and what little action there was happened so briefly that I could have done barely half a blink and still would have missed it. But then again, if a show starts losing its fan base, I guess the producers are going to be willing to try anything to get it back. So yeah, this is another one that I think should be taken to the dumpster. Number 7, Demolition Doofus. This episode seems to be hated because of Miss Puff's cruel personality, even going so far as to want Spongebob dead, and I completely understand that. I've only seen this episode once, and it was a while ago, so I can't say too much about it, but I remember sort of disliking it myself. I too sort of lost respect for Miss Puff, and I don't remember there being a lot of funny jokes. The storyline was pretty interesting, though, and I thought the derby scenes were pretty neat. So my overall thoughts? Eh. Number 6. Squirrel Record. I haven't actually seen this episode, so I really don't have any thoughts about it. I heard it was kind of a rip-off of pre-hibernation week, though. So, again, I can kind of understand why this one would be hated. Number 5. Best Day Ever. Okay, guys. This is where I'm prepared for you all to start drinking all the Mare Bear Haterade. I actually like this episode. There are some funny jokes, like Spongebob yelling at the guy in the concert to sit down and trying to sneak into the concert before that, and the song was pretty fun, too. It was also cool to see the nematodes again. This is another one of those episodes that gets a lot of hatred because of the hype it got. Everyone's all like, oh, we had a 24-hour marathon and all we got was this crappy 11-minute episode to end it. <sighs> Once again, guys, this was Nickelodeon's fault. The Spongebob producers had very little, if anything at all, to do with it. I can understand hating this episode because of the storyline jokes and stuff like that, but if this 24-hour marathon leading up to an 11-minute episode is one of the reasons you think Spongebob is going downhill, I think you need to get your brain checked. Number 4. Pet or Pest This is one of those episodes that gets a lot of hatred not because of the poor storyline or bad jokes, but for the gross-out factor, with the baby worm spitting goo on everyone. I can understand people disliking this aspect of the episode. The episode actually wasn't all that bad to me, though. Sure, it was gross, and the scene where Larry the Lobster says, Do I know you? Just Spongebob was uncalled for, in my opinion. Of course you know Spongebob, Larry. You've hung around him since freaking season one. The storyline was actually pretty good, though, and it had some originality to it and was well written to an extent. 
So my overall thoughts on this one, eh, it was okay. Number three, Penny Foolish. This is another one I'm not surprised about. I know a lot of fans were really ticked off at Mr. Krabs because of everything he did to try to get the penny from Spongebob, and I do agree this is one of those episodes where Mr. Krabs' cheapness is taken a little too far. However, unlike the majority of Spongebob fans, I actually didn't hate this episode. The plot wasn't all that good, but it had a couple funny jokes, like Spongebob picking up what Mr. Krabs thought was the penny near the beginning, and the pennies for the penny was thing. The ending was kind of a letdown, but it wasn't really a surprise. We all know Spongebob doesn't really care about money, right? So overall, this is another one that goes on my meh episodes list. Number two, The Splinter. Oh boy, this episode. I absolutely had a feeling this one would be on the list. This one gets a lot of pages not only because of the nothing really going on storyline, but also because of how disgusting the writers made it. This is my current least favorite episode, mainly because of how graphic it was, but also because everyone seemed out of character. Squidward acted like he was five years old, pretending like he was squishing that customer's face, and Patrick just seemed too angry. Plus, the episode was just boring. I think it could have been a little better if the writers could have come up with some creative ways for Spongebob to get the splinter out of his thumb, but instead all they had him do was pull on it. Boring. And now, for the number one episode that's considered the worst, Little Yellow Book. I was actually kind of surprised to see this episode had the lowest score out of all of them. In my opinion, it's not a good episode, but there are far worse ones. This episode gets a lot of hatred because Squidward was a jerk to Spongebob, reading his diary in front of the entire Krusty Krab. I did think it was one of the most mean-spirited episodes of the show, but I have a feeling it was probably only written to mollify all the post-movie haters who think Squidward had suffered too much abuse in the later seasons. I got a couple chuckles out of this episode, such as Mr. Krabs apparently having an afro, but the episode overall wasn't anything special. In fact, I probably wouldn't watch it again unless there was absolutely nothing else on TV. So, there you have it, folks. These are the top 10 Spongebob episodes that are considered the worst by TV.com users. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on these episodes, and I'm curious to know which episodes would be on your top 10 worst list. This is Mayor Bear 62990 signing out.